Welcome everyone to this exciting interview segment. Today we have the pleasure of sitting down with Rami Kalon, star of the Lifetime movie Mother's Stolen Memories. Rami takes on the role of Linda. Join us as we delve into Rami's insights into her character and the challenges of filming this movie. Thank you, Rami, for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited. Me too. So let's start. Can you tell us a little bit about your character in uh, Mother's uh, Stolen Memories? Absolutely. So I play Linda, which is Mallory's best friend. And um, she's an owner of an event planning organization with her best friend. Um, and she's someone that doesn't have a lot of family in town. So she and Mallory are very, very close. So when things start going bad for Mallory, Linda's someone that's just on it and a very supportive, loyal friend. And what initially attracted you to your role in this movie? I really liked how like loyal and and positive she is with Mallory. Like uh, in my career, I've played a lot of kind of like delinquents and like um, mean kids a lot. And this was the first time that I think I felt like I played someone that was more like me, which is someone that's kind of a type and on it and like very organized. Um, so just that ability to play someone that's more similar to like how I approach my friendships in my life was really exciting to me. Amazing. And uh, what do you think makes this movie so special and captivating? I think it's really interesting because you never know what's happening as the audience. There's so many different ways that this plot could go. And as the audience, I think you're always guessing of what's happening. Um, and I don't want to give any spoilers away, but basically what you think is happening is not happening. And in the middle of the film, you realize something crazy is going on. And I remember even when I was reading the script, I was like, like oh, that is so cool that this is the route that we're going. Because sometimes you'll see like a, a story and you can kind of guess the ending. Like when I was reading it, I did not guess that that's what was happening. Amazing. And uh, what do you hope? audiences take away from watching this movie i think this movie uh, first of all i hope you're entertained everyone that watches it <laughs> i hope you like it <laughs> but the <laughs> second um with the film like there's there's this question that's asked which is how much are you responsible for something if someone coerces you to do it um, and I think that's kind of the moral of the story. And that's what the audience battles with at the end. And it's what um, a lot of the characters are going through. And it's about like how much responsibility can you take for someone else's actions when you're kind of complicit in that. And I want people to think about that because I know that that's what I was thinking about when I was reading it um, and, and doing it. I was really thinking about like if I was in that situation, how guilty would I feel? Would I feel guilty? Do I need to, etc. Interesting. And uh, what was it like working with the rest of the cast on set? I loved the cast. Um, and and speaking of cast, the crew was also really great too. Like the director is a good friend of mine, so Panta, um, and I've done a movie before that as well. Um, she's so great. She's so funny, uh, which you wouldn't expect because the the it's quite dark the story but she's so funny on set um and then Nathan in it um I've known him for a long time but um this was the first time that we actually worked together so it was like like we've known each other on like Instagram and social media and like events here and there and it's the first time getting to know each other and he's so lovely and so cool and just down to earth um and Tammy was so awesome too like she would do these like um TikTok videos in between set because like she's got a like a, a huge career on TikTok as well yeah and um it was so cool just to watch her because I I don't know how to use TikTok like I go on it like once a month I have no idea <laughs> <laughs> but with her it was just so cool like she'd make all these videos like in between takes and just be like wow it's like a whole different world that I I don't even know <laughs> great <laughs> and uh, what can you tease about your character journey Oh, so my character has a great journey. Um, I I can tease that 
that my character makes a full, complete transition in life. Um, that's all I'm going to say. But the other thing I'm going to say is there is an a, a epic scene. There's a scene that I'm just waiting to come out because like um, it's so good and it's a spoiler. So I can't post it online until like the movie's released everywhere. But there's this great scene and Linda goes through some stuff. People are out to get her. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And uh, what was your favorite scene or moment while filming this movie? Uh, the scene that I was referring to was my favorite scene to film. So once again, I can't give too much because it's a spoiler, but it's um, it's this really like peak. It's the peak of the film. Um, like there's the peak of my character, then there's like the actual fight. Like I have a mini fight basically. And um, it was really cool because I've never filmed stunts before. I don't really do a lot of stunts. And um, it was just interesting, like, putting my body in weird, weird positions. Because, like, in film, we'll see it for two seconds. But in reality, I think my head was like this for, like, um, four hours, maybe six. <laughs> so it was really interesting. <laughs> I had an X right now, sure, but it was really interesting. <laughs> interesting. So this is the behind scene we don't know and uh, we can uh, uh, know about uh, through you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you watch it, you'll see what I mean. Great. So change of uh, subject. You are really young, so uh, I'm sure the best has yet to come. But what have been some of the most memorable projects you have worked on throughout your career and why? Right. This is um this is an easy one for me because a couple of years ago I did this theater show um called Mirza Saiban, which is um an Indian name, but it's um basically the Indian version of Romeo and Juliet. Um and I basically was the Juliet, and it's a really tragic love story. Um and it makes me emotional just talking about it, but basically like it's a forbidden love um two families that are not supposed to be together and um in the end of the play my lover unfortunately dies on stage and so I have this huge like um emotional moment and it's just like the best experience of my life because in that moment like I was really feeling what was happening, but then the audience was there and they were there with me. And that is just the moment that I'll, I don't know if I'll replicate that anytime soon, but it was one of the most beautiful moments of my life. Amazing. So at Survive the Shows, we are big fans of Christmas rom-coms. What is your all-time favorite? My all-time favorite Christmas rom-com? I love Christmas rom-coms too. Um, <laughs> I just watched this recently, so I want to say this one, but I have a few more, but um, I just Baking Spirits Bright, which I believe is a Lifetime movie, um, and it's like this, about this, like, um, fruitcake recipe that's been passed down from, like, a grandmother to, um, like, the, the female lead, and then there's, like, a contention because the guy wants to get the recipe, he wants to buy the fruitcake factory over, and then they have a contention, then you know, they end up falling in love, that kind of stuff. But um, um, Nimit Kanji plays the mom in that. And she's actually played my mom a few times. And I just love watching her. I think she's a brilliant actress. And I think it's such a good movie, like such a good feel good rom-com movie. Um, and it's like a South Asian family and an African American family together. So it's really beautiful to watch. Um, and then also Love Heart on Netflix is so, so good. Nina Dobrev is so good. And then um, the guy, I forget his name, but he's so funny. Um, yeah, that was a really good one. Amazing. And uh, the last question. Can you tease us something about your next projects? Yeah, I was actually just filming it last night. Um, <laughs> it's a Christmas rom-com. So it's for Hallmark. Um, I can't say too much about it, but it's uh, really beautiful. And we have like... The lead is from India, which is so cool. Um, and it's two families that are coming together again. And there's a bit of a cultural shock with both. Um, and then more than that, um, the matriarch of the guy's family and the patriarch of the 
girls family are really into Christmas and so they're competing against each other and that causes an issue too um and I play uh the sister-in-law so I'm like the voice of reason that's trying to be like it's okay like as long as you love each other you're all good um yeah so we just filmed that well we're still filming it we finished on Monday but um it's gonna be out in Christmas so look out for that I think the name's gonna change so I won't say the name but it'll be my next Christmas um homework and I'll I'll Amazing. make sure that I post about it so looking forward thank to watching it thank you so much <laughs> and uh, thank you for being here Welcome. This is it. Make sure to watch the movie Mother's Stolen Memories on a Lifetime platform. And thank you, Remy, again to join us. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Have a good good day. <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye.